Welcome to the weekly markets update. I'm Maurice Sagarishvili, investment consultant at Kamak Retirement Group. Today, we are recapping what moved the markets in the week from June 8th to June 12th. S&P 500's impressive climb back into positive territory came to a screeching halt this week. Stocks suffered their worst weekly route since the height of the pandemic. Concerns about possible second wave of coronavirus infections, as well as Fed's downbeat outlook for the economy, dashed hopes for a quick V-shaped recovery. The sell-off was broad-based. S&P 500 ended the week down 4.7%. Treasury yields reversed this, the course this week, with the 10-year Treasury note falling close to 20 basis points as the risk sentiment soared. Concerns about the prolonged downturn along the Fed Chairman Powell's commitment to keep the rates low and maintain its current pace of asset purchases helped fuel the decline in bond yields. At the policy meeting this week, federal officials left the federal funds target rate unchanged in the range from 0 to 25 basis points, signaling the rates would remain 0 through 2022. While policymakers have been successful in dumping the volatility, central banks still believe they have more work to do to support a sustained economic recovery, as the risk remains skewed to the downside. National Bureau of Economic Research has officially determined that the U.S. economy fell into a recession in February 2020, a full month before the coronavirus shutdowns swept across the nation. This comes to no surprise to the markets, given a sharp decline in growth and surge in unemployment during the first quarter. The magnitude of the job losses since the start of the pandemic suggests there is more stimulus than may be necessary. The CARES are greatly expanding unemployment benefits to those impacted by the coronavirus. However, one of the key provisions, which included additional $600 in a weekly unemployment benefits, is set to expire at the end of July. Jobless claims also continue to trend lower. Over 1.5 million Americans filed for unemployment benefits this week, bringing the three-month total to just over 44 million. Continuing claims which captures those currently receiving benefits also edged lower to 20.9 million. The magnitude of the weekly filings is more than the double the worst weekly period during the Great Recession. Inflation tumbled again this month. U.S. consumer prices slumped for the third month in a row as the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression continues to sap demand. Consumer prices have risen 0.1% over the last 12 months, a sharp decline from the 2.4% yearly pace reported a few months ago. Nationwide protests have taken center stage, largely overshadowing the market's hyper-focus on the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. But the top scientists are warning the pandemic is by no means over and warning of the second outbreak. Thanks for watching. For more questions, visit our website, kamakretirement.com.